Whether you're aware of them or not, biases can affect how you interpret and review a manuscript. Taking time to identify what biases you carry can go a long way to helping you write an objective and constructive review. One useful tip to keep in mind as you read through a new manuscript is to focus on the objectives laid out by the authors, which are best indicated by the hypotheses they seek to test. It might be tempting to measure an author's approach to a research problem against the one you might have taken, but it's important to respect the boundaries established in the author's manuscript. In addition, your review should be an evaluation of the research, not of the researcher. It shouldn't matter whether authors are men or women, what part of the world they're from, or what position they hold in an institution. Remaining completely objective, however, is easier said than done. So what can you do to combat these potential biases? First, ask yourself whether any critical comment you make would change if the author were a different person. If the answer is yes, then you should carefully consider what motivated you to make that comment in the first place. Another way to keep your review bias-free is to be specific in offering advice or criticism. Simply saying that a manuscript is poorly written or that some experiments lacked controls makes it difficult for any author to find ways to improve their work. Instead, cite specific examples of where you found room for improvement. Writing a fair review can be hard work, but taking inventory of any biases you might harbor is invaluable to maintaining objectivity in the review process and in science at large. Mm -hmm.